then I was searching. I love junior high. I love the book carousel and the library with the Vonnegut's and the Zindels. My best friend lived there on the fiction shelf. Her name was Mick Kelly, and she was like a boy, but she was a girl. I wanted to be her so badly to be inside that book in the hot summer, in the hot south, in a town there were two mutes and they were always together. That's how it begins. The heart is the lonely hunter that Carson McCullers wrote when she was 23 years old. The book is full of sadness and silence hangs in the human air. But one night it cools and Mick is on the verge and she puts on a dress and she puts on lipstick and soon she will be a woman, but for now she is in between and I sat alone and read. And it was my favorite book, except for my secret book. For it so happened that it came to pass in that busy year as our bodies erupted, like Lord of the Flies, we were left to our own devices. The teachers had gone on strike and it lasted a month. And those parents who were nervous to leave us at home unattended could push us out the door and off to school. A student body with no head. We did busy work and bided the time, and no one died by sheer luck. And inside, we began to slowly change, and the boys mostly would head back home after being pushed out the door in the morning by mothers who worked or by parents who had simply given up. And so the library was really a repository for the weak, for who goes to school unless made to do so, or reads a book unless made to do so. There were girls and me and my secret book. And there was no recess because there were no classes and there was no recess because it was junior high. So when the weather was warm, kids would go outside and the girls would sit in circles. And I was outside too, and outside the circle. But there was much talk among the girls, the obvious breasts, which began to grow in. And I knew instinctively grew and sore, and periods. And although on the margins, I knew more about these miracles than matters closer to home. My outside body was like a stone and a poison rose, and I felt flooded with hormones and shame, and I could no longer be calm. Never would my body spontaneously change at 14 with angry, hateful industry that left me swollen and raw. I said with bitterness, you're a, a man now. It was the end of my calm. And I closed my secret book. All that spring I had read that book, it had a black cover. And it told you what happened, what was to come. And it showed you with drawings that filled me with awe, what could happen because one day, but you certainly did not want it to happen at school. Not the start of it or how it all ends up. But one day the book said, one day if you were lucky, if you were lucky, your body could make a baby. Because the egg would not come out and run down red your leg. It would stay in and you could grow a baby and your breasts would fill with milk. And I, I could feed my baby. And what more could you ask of a life?